and welcome back to this series of skipping videos in collaboration with the Waterford Sports Partnership and the Waterford Schools Completion Programme. In today's video we are going to be doing one foot sides and the 360 degree turn. So one foot sides look like this. So I go feet together, left foot side, feet together, right foot side, feet together, left foot side, feet together, right foot side. So, and the 360 looks like this. You're gonna go two skips, turn around, do backward skips, back around and into forward skips again. Turn around, do backward skips, and back into forward skips again. Okay, so one foot to the side, Again, we're just gonna hold on to the rope to practice using our feet without the rope so that we get the technique of the footwork skills right first, and then we'll add in the rope now in a minute. So it's gonna be feet together one, after jump number two. It doesn't matter whether you go right side first or left side first, that's up to you. I like to go to my left. So I'm gonna jump over the rope. As I land, all my weight is going to stay on this leg that's in the middle, and I'm gonna to touch this toe off the ground, my left toe out to the side. Okay, on number three, I'm going to go back to feet together so my weight is back evenly on both feet. And then on number four, I'm going to touch my right foot out to the side. But you're just touching your toe off the ground, all your weight stays on the leg in the middle. So it's a little bit like you're doing a one foot jump, but you do touch your foot off the ground out to the side. So it's going to be feet together, left foot side, feet together, right foot side, feet together, left foot side, feet together, right foot side. Like all footwork skills, you have to jump over the rope first and then you put your foot out to the side because if I put my foot out too early before I jump the rope, I will get caught. So it's going to be feet together one, after jump number two, out to the side. Okay, so after jump number two, make sure you've gone through the middle of the rope and then you go out to the side. And then I go feet together three, after four, right side. Feet together one, after two, left side. Feet together three, after four, left side feet together right side again notice that my body stays in the middle it's just my foot going out to the side some people make this mistake of lunging out to the side with all their body weight make sure your body weight stays in the middle and your foot is just being placed out to the side so once again feet together one after two left side feet together three after four right side right side feet together feet together side feet together side feet together side and both are touching the ground at the same time. And then back to the middle, it's two feet together. Okay, so now we're going to do the 360 degree turn. So, we've done the forward skip, we've done backward skips, and we've done side swings. That's all we have to do to do the 360. So you do two forward skips, number one and number two. Two, number three is going to be a side swing. For me, I like to go to my left hand side first. No problem if you want to go to your right. So I'm going to bring both hands down to my left hand side. Make sure that your hands aren't crossed. Your right hand should be closest to your body. Your left hand is that little bit out to the side. I'm going to follow the rope as it slides along the ground. And I walk around. There's no jump over the rope. Walk around. When I get halfway around, I go into a backward skip. So I'm going to swing the rope over my head. And as my hands come down behind me on number four, that's when I'm going to jump. Again, on number five, as my hands drop down, that's when I'm going to jump. Okay, so we're gonna practice that part first. So it's the first five out of six parts. I'll show you number six now in a minute. So we want to get that right. If you, as I said, if you want to go to your right, there's no problem. You're obviously just turning the opposite way, and then you're into your backward skips. So for me, I like to go to my left. So I go one, two, three is down by my side, four, and five are my backward skips. Watch again, I go one, two, three is down by my side, four, hands come down, five, and that's how I jump over the rope. I'm going to do it from this side so you can see the backwards part uh, facing the camera. So I go one, two, three is down by my side, four, and five, then my backwards skips. So after number five, the rope is going to be coming up in front of you, like we did in the last video where we swung the rope over our shoulder to wrap it around your arm when you were going backwards. That's what you're going to do, because that's how you get back round and into your forward skip again. So it's gonna be one, two, three is down by my side, four, five, six. It's like I'm throwing that rope over my shoulder. My handles go out to the side. The rope will go up really high like this. As I turn around, I will be there then to jump through the middle and into a forward skip. 
So I would do it facing this way so you can see the last part. So I go one, two, three is down low, four, five, six is up high, one, two, three is down low, four, five, six is up high, one, two, three is down low, four, five, six is up high, and I followed the rope round at the same speed so that when I turned, I was there to jump through the middle. My hands were looking at the rope all the time, and then I was able to jump through the middle. Okay, so if you're going the opposite direction, one, two, three is down low, four, five, six is up high, one, two, follow the rope down low, four, five, follow the rope up high, and then I jump through the middle. So now you have two more skills to add to uh, the other skills that we did in the last videos. Thank you to the, West, uh, the Waterford Sports Partnership and the Waterford Schools Completion Program for collaborating on these videos.